Hey, this is Steve again, Pokesu Channel. Um, again, more glimpses of the guitar ladder system, which is $99, but anything you purchase that I can scan and send to you for $9.99, unless you want the response, extra response video, then it's 20 bucks. PayPal to stevezook7 at yahoo.com, S-T-E-V-E-Z-O-O-K, the number seven not spelled out, at yahoo.com. I'll probably be making PayPal buttons with links for all this stuff anyway, but anything that you buy from me for like nine, uh, 10 to $20 will apply to the $100 guitar ladder system. Like I said before, I used to sell this on eBay. They got rid of digital downloads, so uh, that kind of killed that for a while, but anyway. And I'm kind of restructuring that information right now, but it is available, but for right now, you can... Anything that you want, uh, right now you can get for $9.99. I can go ahead and scan that and email that to you. Okay. Um, I just got done doing a thing about one six two five with flat five subs. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit now with um, a diminished leg, which is that's a seven sharp five chord. So this lick. Do dotted eight. I like to kind of do that chromatic, kind of chromaticize it here. And it's good to practice this chromatically. And just play with it. And a good thing to do too is when you do a lick, go to the seven sharp five chord. You kind of get that burned in your head. Okay, that resolves nice. Minor nine, seven sharp five resolve, major nine with a sharp, with a uh, sharp eleven in there. And so uh, that's a great lick to practice. Okay. Here I'm just doing these four and then pulling off. Those four and then pulling off and then coming to I don't use that pull off every time, but a huge part of learning to really take a quantum leap in your guitar playing and, and your writing and, and your ability as a composer is, is learning how to practice. I've said it before, I'll say it a billion times, guitar is the easiest thing in the world just to kind of mess around on and have fun, right? But one of the hardest instruments in the world to really sit down and really get some focus. And it's kind of a double-edged sword there. You know, it takes the disciplined practice and presenting your, your conscious and subconscious mind with the right material and then and I've had this conversation on the phone before with Alan Holsworth years ago when he used to use my speed pick really cool guy by the way Alan I think I owe you an apology by the way if you ever see this um, but anyway that's a, that's a long story no big deal but just uh, you know I was he was using my speed pick for a while and I saw him at a trade show and uh, this is many, many years ago, by the way. I'm much more mature now, but I saw him. And I think I was a little upset he wasn't endorsing the product anymore. And I kind of looked at him and kind of vibed him out a little bit. I really apologize for that, Alan, because I think you're just an awesome musician and just a great human being. And I was being a jerk. I apologize for that. But hey, we're all human, right? Um, that was a tough project for me, getting that thing going. And I think sometimes I took it a little too seriously, you know. But anyway, I have ultimate respect for Alan Holdsworth. And we used to talk on the phone once in a while. And what, a, what an interesting... Interest. We used to talk about how the guitar becomes an extension of your nervous system, and we used to discuss the subconscious release. And that's kind of what my point was bringing here: is that you know you need the discipline, practice to get that subconscious release. That's why the guitar ladder system focuses on developing improvisational skills, because improvisational skills develop compositional skills. And uh, but anyway, you know, hats off to Mr. Alan Holsworth. What a, what a great musician and one of the best legato players on the planet. And just really, I think the thing that I'm so impressed with Alan is is not just his love of music and commitment and obvious his uh, you know stunning technique and all that, but just he's made such an effort to have his own voice. 
and uh, you know his own way he puts chords together and his own voice with single notes and I really can appreciate that so we're all we're all unique you know so anyway <laughs> So this is so you can get your subconscious and conscious mind hearing the augmented sounds. Okay. Dotted eighth fill. And by the way, you can always come down the diminished. I'm going to make these short because I've been doing a lot of really long videos. So, uh, obviously, here I'm sliding down to the next one. Okay? And I, I may not be tuned to concert pitch, but here's the A and my guitar. So, like if I'm on the fifth fret, okay? My ears have been plugged for four days, so my hearing's a little messed up right now. Anyway. Or you can... So that's a great thing to practice, okay? And you can also, you know, come up with that. And then come down the diminished, or... Whole tone scale, okay? But that's the diminished. I'm sorry, augment, I mean. that dot eight fill okay so that's the augmented riff okay I like to do it chromatically I like to throw in those that slow and work it chromatically all right we'll catch you on the next one try to keep these short because uh they could really take long to download all right catch you on the next